stampers welcome back to my studio this is deb velder and i always love having you stop by here i showed you yesterday this really pretty card done with this little dragonfly um die and uh it's a shaker card but today and yesterday i promised you to come back and show you how to do this mosaic card it's so easy but so pretty it's just a fast card after you get everything cut out um so let's get started the first thing that I did was I cut out uh, six of the dies. Now you can use any die that you want to. Um, like I said, I'm using this dragonfly frame um, and I just, I cut out six. So I'm gonna glue these together, but I'm gonna save this one, all right? So you wanna glue five of them together because that's the um, depth that we need for the prills. Now, if you're gonna use something different, you just need to know how uh, fat, I would say they are how fat the little um, thing that you're going to use is because they have to fit within this little frame right here. So this one right here I'm going to set aside so I'm working with five of the cutouts. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them together. So let's just set this aside. I'm going to use our deluxe craft glue and I'm just going to start at the bottom and work my way up. So here's the first one. And I'm just going to glue this one to the top of it. So grab your glue and you don't want a whole lot of glue, just enough to uh, adhere it together. And the reason I say that is because you don't want it uh, dripping out of the sides. One of the things that you do want to try to do, though, is to get some of these pieces here in the middle. So especially these little guys, I'm just going to dab these. And that's why I love this glue for this project, because you can get really little tiny, tiny, tiny pieces out of here. But you really do want to get these glued together so that they're not... Uh, that your little, um, I'm going to use prills, so I'm going to talk about prills. You don't want your prills seeping into the other side, all right? And I'll show you how to do that as we go along. You want to make sure that they are perfectly lined up, all right? So you've got, with this kind of ad uh, adhesive, you've got a little bit of wiggle room, so you just want to kind of spread them apart until you get them lined up perfectly. So there's our, our first two layers, the bottom layer and the top layer. All right, now let's go to the next one. We're gonna do the exact same thing. This is our fifth and final layer for now. Okay, remember we have six of them, but this is going to be the last one for now. And just make sure everything is lined up nicely. Oh, my top layer here. Okay, just be very, very precise in lining everything up here. And then we're just going to take and make sure everything is glued down nicely. And you've got this really nice thick piece, which is just gorgeous. Now I've paper pieced like this before, but I've never done this mosaic type thing. And I just love, like I said, when I got this um, die, I had this in the back of my head and I've been wanting to try it and wanting to try it. And um, now that we have to stay home, I figured I've got all the time in the world to try it. So. Now we have this piece right here, and this is how fast it is. It's already dried, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adhere it to my sparkle paper now. I cut just a piece a little bit bigger, all right? Just a little tiny bit bigger, but um, there you go, you see? So like I said, you can do this with any die. Um, I just thought this one would be perfect. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna glue it to um, my sparkle paper. There we go. And now we're going to just adhere it to our sparkle paper. Just give this a second for it to dry. Thank you. 
Now, one of the tools that I absolutely love for this project is this. Um, this is my, um, I call it my pokey thing. And the reason I like it is because it is retractable and I can make it bigger or smaller. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go along the edges here and make sure that I don't have any of my adhesive sticking out where I don't want it to be. All right. The pearls are pretty much going to take care of that, but I just want to make sure that I don't have too much sticking out. All right. And this is going to come in very handy when we're doing the rest of it. That's pretty good right there. All right, now we're ready to start with our prills. All right, so we used our deluxe adhesive for this part of it to attach all of this, but remember we still have one piece left. All right, and we're gonna hold on to that until the very end. And the next thing that we're gonna do is to take our crystal glaze and we're gonna start filling in some of our holes. So what I did for this one was I just picked up a bunch of colors, okay? And you can pick whichever one. You, if you wanna go monochromatic and do maybe some greens and do um, like a light green, a darker green, a darker green, a darker green. If you wanna just go two colors, you know, you can do that. It's a mosaic, you can do whatever you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the exact same colors that I did here. And I'm gonna start with my purples. So I'm gonna just put my adhesive into the holes, all right? And you want it to be fairly thick, but not too thick. Can I stress that enough? Um, you don't want it oozing out, but at the same time, you don't want it not to have enough to, to hold the pearls. Now, remember I told you that little pokey thing is, is very, very important. And it really is because you've got to spread this to the insides of the little points, okay? The little, the little uh, points right up in here where I can't get the glue myself. Um, so we're just going to take that in just a minute and we're just going to spread it even farther. All right. So let's just do that for the purple. All right. And in between, you always want to put the top on so that doesn't dry out. I've never had a problem with it clogging, but if you leave the top off for any length of time, it will. Now I'm going to put this out to almost the very, very um, largest or longest, I should say. And I'm just going to Make sure I've got it all the way into the corners. Okay. Now there will be a little bit of drying time in between these. So, because you, you don't want to, um, there we go. You don't want to uh, put one color on and then turn around and um, uh, drop them off because if they're still wet, they're going to drop in there with the other colors and they're going to get all me messed, up, messed up, mixed up, I should say. So I'm just going to bring in a tray and I'm going to start with my purple and just plop these little guys right in here. Actually, it's better if you use your spoon because then you're going to have less mess to pick up. All right, so I'm just going to take my spoon and drop them in here. And these, I don't know if you can see them or not. I'll, I'll lift it up in just a minute. They're not all one size. They're all different sizes. So the little ones kind of go into the middle, um, you know, like into these little corners, which is really cool, you know, so you don't have really any bare spots. Oops. Okay. Alrighty. And then we're going to go over to the next one. If you, if you purchase prills, this is just a, a must. My little, my little spoon right here, I, it just works so well. So now what I'm doing is just kind of patting them down into the adhesive or the crystal glaze. There we go. Alrighty, and then we're gonna take and pop them out. Isn't that cool? All right, so now we're gonna take and take our scraper again, just scrape some of these little guys off. I'll tell you the reason why they adhered to here, because my glue wasn't dry yet. If you take a little bit of patience and let it glue in between, maybe go get 
bowl of ice cream or um, you know just something uh, do something while the the, adhe the glue is drying you're not going to get this because um, all these things are adhering to is that glue that I have in there so it's not a bad thing but you're just going to do a little bit more work when you have to scrape them out I didn't have to do it in the first one because I let them really dry in between but because I'm on a video I just want to get them going so I'm just kind of scraping them out and showing you how to do it in case you have to do it all right this would be pretty all one color too actually you know just one color of pearls I could do them all purple or all the chiffon or you know and we have 42 colors of these prills so you can mix and match and you know get a few at a time um, it's just a lot of fun collecting them and having a choice all right yeah this is the glue um, from the uh, five layers together this didn't happen the first time but like I said it's good it whoops it's good that you see that I just stuck my just stuck this little guy right in there so I'm just gonna move these little guys around and add a little bit more uh, glaze right here to this piece right here do you see how I kind of and what you'll see too is um, what you'll also see is that if you've got a heavy dose of crystal glaze in here um, that you'll see it kind of collapsing so or or melting in so you might want to just add a few more anyway i did that with my first one too okay see here's like a little dip inside here so i'm just adding a little bit more i'm going to add a little bit more of the glaze it's better seriously with this spoon because you have more control of where it goes There we go. All right, and then we'll finish scraping that out and doing the rest of the colors. Okay, now what you're going to do is to take and just clean up the sides and the reason you need to do that is because we have to get that other piece over the top so we want to make sure that most of the pieces or all of the pieces are off of the white right here okay because we have to layer that last piece so I'm just going to go in ahead and do that
we've got that just about done. And now what we're gonna do is to add that bottom layer. Now, if I was doing this off camera, I would wait until this totally dries. This right here is still very wet, but you know what, let's take a chance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my last piece. And the reason I do this and have one last piece to do this is because sometimes you get some glue, sometimes you get a little smudge. This is the pristine piece that's gonna go over the top of everything. All right, so again, I'm gonna take my glue and just go all the way around my piece right here like I did before. And make sure you get all these little guys right here so it doesn't pop up on you. There doesn't have to be a lot of glue, just a little tiny piece to tack it down. I would say because I rushed it, um, I had a lot more cleaning up to do. So if you do the five layers, let it dry, let the glue dry. It doesn't take very long. Um, let the glue dry and then what you wanna do is to let it dry just a little bit in between each layer um, or each color. Uh, it doesn't have to be a lot, but um, just a little bit of time. Like I said, go get yourself a cup of coffee or you know just do something in between each one. But this is so pretty afterwards when you're all done that it is so worth it. And I'm just gonna lay it down just like I did the other layers. And I'll use my pokey thing in just a minute to press everything down. See, this one is still very, very wet. So normally I wouldn't do that, but... All right, now what I'm gonna do is just make sure everything is all lined up nicely. And then just take this and press it all down. And you see how clean that line is now? There we go. And then we're just gonna press each one here in the middle. Perfect. And the last thing that we have to do is to add it to our card base. So I'm just gonna carefully turn this over because it is still a little bit wet. And I'm just gonna add my foam tape. Now the reason I want foam tape and close to the edge is because um, this has a lot of, uh, uh, what do I wanna say? It's got a lot of um, adhesive to it. You don't want it to um, ripple. So we're just gonna put a lot of foam tape on here. Bring in our little card base right here and just add it to the card base and that is our card. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And that is our card. And yesterday, like I said, we did one with a shaker card. It's just so pretty. And that is my post for today. Leave us a comment. Um, you can subscribe to my YouTube videos by clicking the little subscribe button. Click on the bell and you'll see it every time I, pro I post a new video. Hit the thumbs up and share it with your friends. We so appreciate you stopping by and taking some time out of your busy day to spend it with us. Have a great day.